Hello and welcome to DIY Projects with Pete, episode number nine. Today I'm going to show you how to build a rustic whiskey barrel coffee table out of an old whiskey barrel and some construction grade pine. It's a simple project to build, it's a lot of fun, and it's certainly a conversational piece in your home that's functional as well. You can store blankets in it, maybe some firewood, or ice cold beverages. For tools, you're going to need to pick up or borrow an orbital sander, a drill, a miter saw, Craig jig, possibly some clamps, and a hammer or a rubber mallet. For supplies, you'll need one and one quarter inch Craig screws, a variety of different length wood screws, some stain, polyurethane, sandpaper, and finally chest hinges and a support. And lastly, for lumber, you're going to need to pick up two by 12, one by eight, one by four, and one by two boards. And most importantly, you're going to need a whiskey barrel. You'll be able to find it either as a full barrel or a pre-cut half barrel. I'd recommend checking out local distilleries, wine vineyards, or even Craigslist in your area. And if it is a full barrel, you're going to have to cut it down, and you can use a jigsaw or a sawzall to do so. I was able to find my whiskey barrels on Craigslist locally out here in Montana. They were pre-cut, so I don't go through the process of cutting a full barrel in half on this video. And they were sitting outside for a number of years, but I think that only added to the character of the actual barrels. And for your complete list of instructions, tools, and supplies, just head over to DIYPete.com forward slash whiskey barrel. And before we get started, I want to give my buddy Dustin Rising a big shout out for inspiring me to build this project and for all of his help in the process. This photo is of a similar table we built together that's now in his home, and the only difference is that we painted the bands an oil rubbed bronze color. I'd also like to thank Murdoch's Ranch and Home Supply, Craig Jig, Minwax, and Jack Clamp for helping make DIY projects with Pete possible. All right, let's go ahead and get started with today's DIY project. The first step is to remove the metal bands using a pry bar, and then you'll want to find a rubber mallet to even out some of the whiskey barrel boards so they all sit as flush as possible to each other. You can rotate the barrel to get a better angle, and then I'd recommend lightly sanding the surface with 220 grit sandpaper to remove the rough edges and to smooth out the entire surface. Then clean off the surface to prep for your stain. I used a wood stain from Minwax called Special Walnut and wiped it on the barrel boards using a clean rag. You can use a brush to stain some of the crevices and the hard to reach places that you can't get with your rag. Let the stain dry and then reassemble your whiskey barrel. You can line the metal bands up with the old nail holes in the whiskey barrel and then attach using one inch screws. Next, measure the widest part of your whiskey barrel and cut your two 2x12 two boards that we'll use for the base that same width. Mine was 27 inches. Next, measure the depth of your barrel where your base will be sitting about five inches in from each end cap of the whiskey barrel. The depth for my whiskey barrel is 13 inches. Lastly, measure the width where your base will sit. Mine is 25 inches. To figure out the curve for your 2x12 bases, you'll first want to find the center point on your 2x12 which will be half the width of your widest part of the barrel. For me, that's 13 and a half inches because the width of my barrel and the two by 12s is 27 inches. Now I measured the depth of the barrel where I want the base to go at 13 inches. And since I want the table to be higher than 13 inches, I'm going to measure up three inches and put a mark. And so that's gonna add another three inches to the total height of my table. Taking a look at this diagram, you can see that 13 inch depth of the barrel I was talking about. And then that three inches we just measured on the table base is going to prop our table up an additional three inches, putting it up to 16 inches total. And then we'll add a decorative piece that's three quarter inches thick underneath the base. And then 1.5 inches between the table top and the apron that runs around underneath the tabletop, which will make the total height of the table 18 and one quarter inches. Drill a hole near the end of a paint stick and then line up that hole with that center point that you just made that's three inches down and 13 and a half inches across. Next, divide the width where your base will sit. For instance, mine is 25 inches. So divide it by two and it's going to be 12 and a half inches. You're going to measure 12 and a half inches down in the next step from where the original hole was drilled that the pencil is going to go through and then put a screw at that 12 and a half inch mark. Next, grab your pencil and put it through that original hole you drilled, and now you can draw your arc, and that ruler is going to pivot around that screw that you put in at that 12 and a half inch area. 
double check to make sure your arc is centered and that there's about one to two inches on each side of the arc. Next, grab a jigsaw and follow the line of the arc that you just drew. This is going to create our base where the barrel will sit. After completing the cuts, you can dry fit the baseboards to the barrel to make sure that they fit properly. And if you need to make any adjustments, go ahead and use an angle grinder with a flap disc or an orbital sander to get some of the rough areas and to adjust it so that it fits the barrel properly. Continue adjusting until you get the perfect fit. Once the base fits the barrel properly, you can remove the barrel and then begin staining the base. Once your base pieces are dry, you can put the barrel back on and readjust. Use a level and then a tape measure to make sure that your coffee table sits evenly on the ground and is perfectly level. Connect the barrel to the base using three inch wood screws and I like to use about three to four screws for each base. We can move on to the table apron, which is going to be made out of one by fours and connected to the perimeter of the barrel. Looking at the diagram, I ended up cutting the two longer pieces 37 inches and the two shorter pieces 20 inches. Head over to your miter saw to make the cuts on the one by fours for your table apron. After I've made the cuts, I like to lay out the 1x4s on the actual barrel and dry fit everything to make sure it fits correctly. Take your boards over to a flat surface to get everything lined up so that we can begin the Craig jigging process. You'll want to set the Craig jig to the 3 quarter inch stock setting and then drill two pocket holes on the ends of each shorter board. Here's an up-close shot showing how the Craig jig will create the pocket holes in your 1x4 boards. Next, clean off your table so that you have a flat surface to work with, and we can use those 1 and 1 quarter inch Craig jig screws to attach all of the pieces and form that frame, which is going to be the apron on your table. Put the Craig jig screws in slowly so that you don't split the wood. Now we can attach the frame to the whiskey barrel. So go ahead and get it centered on that whiskey barrel. Once it's centered, I like to tack it in a few spots with a couple nails, just in case I bump it, then it's not going to move around. Then pre-drill so that you don't split any wood when you're attaching that frame to the whiskey barrel. Then I'll attach the frame to the whiskey barrel using either one and one quarter inch or one and one half inch long wood screws. Use an orbital sander to clean up any rough spots and to soften the edges. Next, we'll add a decorative touch to the bottom of our table base. To do this, we'll use either a 1x3 or a 1x2 board, and we'll cut a 45 degree bevel on each end. This board should be two inches wider than your 2x12 base. My table base was 27 inches, so I cut these pieces 29 inches. Now we can stain the pieces we just cut and while we're at it, I'll go ahead and stain the apron for the table. Center the beveled base pieces on the 2x12, and then either tack it on with an air gun, use nails, or screw it on. Next, we'll cut four of the 1x8 pine boards. You'll want to cut them one inch longer than your longest apron piece. Our longest apron piece was 37 inches, so we're gonna cut these boards 38 inches, and that's going to give us a little bit of a lip to open and close the chest. Lay your one by eight boards on a flat surface and mark where you'd like to put your pocket holes. I space the pocket holes about every six to eight inches. Set your Craig jig to the three quarter inch stock setting, and then drill about four to five pocket holes in each of the boards that you need to connect. Clean off your work surface, and then we'll begin attaching the 1x8 boards to each other. I sometimes like to use a clamp to make sure that all of the boards are nice and flat on the surface I'm working with. And then use one and a one quarter inch Craig jig screws to attach the boards to each other.
Since one by eight boards are actually seven and one quarter inches wide, the total width of my tabletop was 29 inches. My whiskey barrel was only 27 inches wide, and so I had a two inch overhang, which was a little too much. So I used the table saw to knock off one and a half inches. Next, cut a couple one by four boards so that they fit just inside the frame. I cut mine to 19 and a half inches. You'll attach these to the underside of your tabletop using one inch screws, and they're going to help solidify the tabletop, and they'll also prevent the tabletop from shifting if it ever gets bumped. I picked up chest hinges at a local hardware store and then attached them using the screws provided to the back side of the apron. Grab your tabletop and prop it up on either a box or a tote about the same height as your barrel to make it easier to install those hinges. Once you have it in place, use the screws provided and attach the hinge to the tabletop. Test the new hinges to make sure they work and then we can sand the tabletop to remove any rough edges and to smooth everything out. Next you can apply stain to the tabletop, and then you can get the underside as well. I added a chest lid support by first attaching it to the inside of the apron and then to the underside of the tabletop. I definitely recommend adding a chest support, it makes it a heck of a lot easier when you're putting things in or taking things out of the chest. Lastly, we can clean out the inside of our brand new whiskey barrel chest and then carry it inside to the house so that everybody can enjoy it and we can start using it. If you're in the mood to celebrate after your big accomplishment of completing this whiskey barrel table, you can line the chest with plastic, fill it with some snow or ice, and enjoy a cold beverage. And if you're in the mood to do something real manly, go chop some firewood outside, then light a fire, get those coals burning nice and hot, relax, and finally enjoy your brand new whiskey barrel coffee table and chest. Thanks so much for tuning in to DIY Projects with Pete, episode number nine. For complete show notes, head over to DIYPete.com forward slash whiskey barrel. Connect with me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash DIY Projects with Pete. And if you like this video, please subscribe by clicking the link above. I hope this video inspires you to create your own whiskey barrel coffee table. So good luck, have fun, and cheers from the mountains out in Bozeman, Montana.